the book's about um, living with a mother who's got severe depression. Mm -hmm. So is that reflecting on your personal life? Yes, my my mum was um, manic depressive, and so and she was an amazing mother. And I don't look back and think, oh, poor me, poor me. I look back and I think, you know, not. Having to cope as a child made me very strong. And so I really only see the positive side of it. But mm. it did provide you know, a platform for a great story and, and a child never knowing what each day was going to bring. Presumably, for you to get through it as a child, you would have had to suppress a certain amount of what you were seeing and what was going mm. on. Did you find that difficult as you started to then write the story, to bring things um, up? It's, it, it didn't, funnily enough. And, and as a child, I would, you know, my mind was my best friend and I would escape into my imagination. Um, and writing after the snow, it was, it was the process, you know, it was just, I was writing and, and I kind of you find, yeah, I, I totally detached myself, mm. but the fallout is beginning now. Oh. And, you know, I'll suddenly have flashbacks and I'm dreaming about my mum who died wow. 12 years ago. And, you know, when she died, I didn't cry a single tear. Mm -hmm. But now, and I'm probably going to get a bit emotional now, oh. but now it's all mm. beginning to come What's back and I'm you, allowing myself to grieve. As you get older yourself and you've got children, yeah. you're probably looking more at it through adult eyes and how hard it would have been for her. Mm -hmm. That's so true. I hadn't yeah. thought of that. And, yeah, and to think of my own children, if I was like my mother, mm. how difficult would be it would be for them. Do you worry that... Is there aspects of your personality? Do you worry sometimes that there might be bits yes. of depression in you? Because you've yes. got postnatal depression. I got, yeah, really bad postnatal depression. And, um, and I had it for a long time without realising. And mm -hmm. actually, it, this friend of mine who um, he was staying, he was, they were doing a concert and nearby. And, and I, had a, I took my son for his mm -hmm. birthday present to go and see them play in concert. And I had a panic attack and I just mm -hmm. disappeared. Mm -hmm. And I left this child, this eight-year-old boy in an audience of 20,000 people and I have no recollection of it and I was found, found mm. huddled up under this guy's dressing table and he said, you know, you need help and he took me to London and he said, I can identify with this because I've had the same thing mm. and um, he took me to see a psychiatrist and sure enough I had kind of wow. postnatal depression, mm. but he saved my life. Sometimes it is really hard to recognise a, a mental health illness, mm. and it, I, I'm surprised that you even knew... How, when did you know that your mother was, was dealing with depression? <sighs> you know, it wasn't until um, my... probably my mid-teens. And, you know, I just thought that it was normal. And because yeah, I had that's quite... That's what you've grown up with. Yeah, yeah, and I had, like, quite an isolated, not lonely childhood, but, you know, I had one best friend, and her mother was a bit bonkers too, and... Um, you know, I just thought it was normal. That all mums are like Yeah, this. and I just thought that that's how it is. And, you know, I would get angry with her when she wouldn't respond and then I'd sometimes get a bit fearful of her when she was manic. But she was my mum. Mm. And, yeah. um, you know, you just, you just well, learn to deal well, with it. Well, talking about women standing up, you know, we've been... Mm talking this morning about, you know, the line between banter and bullying and stuff like that. And, of course, there's been the whole Me Too campaign. Yes. Have you ever had any experiences in your life that have sort of crossed a line? Um, not... I mean, well, I did, actually, and I only remembered it yesterday. Um, I did, and I went to see a back doctor a while back, and I had my lower back was in pain, and he put, as part of the treatment, his finger up my vagina. <gasps> With for no a bad warning. back. With no warning. And I, I remember... God, I hope my children aren't watching this. Sorry, kids. <laughs> but um, I remember being... Thought, thinking, OK, well, this is someone who is a doctor. Yeah. This must be normal. But, in, you know, feeling shocked that this had happened. And no warning or... No or warning. Then, um, and oh. I didn't think anything of it. And then I got home and I thought, God, that, that was not right. So I sort of looked up on the internet. I said, is this normal behaviour? If you've got, you know, something wrong with your back, then yeah. you have to have an internal manipulation. And no. So, you know, that is a, another area which, you know, hasn't been spoken I mean, about even yet. It was part the of medical the medical profession. Yeah. They would tell you. Well, you know, exactly. But yet again, you know, it's so easy, isn't it, for people to say, why didn't you say anything? Mm. But you were in a just... You were You're just in so shock. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. With a, with a, when you go and see a doctor or a mm. physician, someone in a white cloak, you automatically think that their intentions are yeah. to help mm. you. Yeah, and, and you yeah. trust them. You know, your yeah. trust yeah. is there and they're... You know, and, and, and the 
you know, with, with that profession, you're not walking into a GP office where there will be mm. women present. And, mm. you know, well, like you horrendous. say... I wonder he... if he's still around and maybe there's know. something you can do. That's I mean, awful. you know, for me, it's, it's water under the bridge and I just want to move on and, and mm. not think about it. But it could be a plot for your next novel. It could it, be. Well, actually, it could be, yes. <laughs> the next novel, the one after, after the snow, is a sequel. So, um, but maybe, yeah, maybe I'll wing him in there, I'll shoehorn him in yeah. somewhere. Good <laughs> idea, Jane. Very good idea. <laughs>